Hello beautiful people, hello beautiful world, welcome back to my channel, I'm Ashley Rainies and I just wanted to share some thoughts with you and it's ironic because I'm sharing some thoughts about thoughts. So if you have been like finding yourself a little bit um, more anxious or like just constantly going through this negative loop cycle when it comes to your thoughts going down a spiral then i think this video may be helpful for you because i got a revelation and i need to share it okay okay so lately i've been having um i don't know i don't want to say dark thoughts because whenever i think about dark thoughts i think about like death and that's not where it's at. Um, but I've just been having thoughts that aren't really like the most positive, the most uplifting, um, the most hopeful, right? And I think because of that, it has sort of caused me to want to really examine just thought process and what leads us to having certain thoughts, right? And through that examination and just that sort of like, cause I've been doing some reading and watching a couple videos, and I got this revelation and I feel like the more that we understand this, the better it will be because ever since I've been implementing this from the revelation that I got, um, I don't know, it's made my life a little bit easier and my thought process has cleaned up a lot. So when it comes on to our thoughts, right, um, we know that in today's day and age, a lot of the thoughts that we have are not our own and meaning yeah they may come up in your mind and they may sound like you because of course it's your inner voice talking so it may sound like you but it didn't necessarily originate from you why do i say this well we spend a lot of time consuming a lot of information whether it is on social media it is through netflix um crave all those other streaming platforms we spend a lot of time consuming a lot right so what generally tends to happen is that that inner voice can sometimes take on the persona of the information that we've been consuming so we have these thoughts and because it's in our mind we automatically think that this is my thought and we take ownership of the thought but i want to present something to you i want to present this idea of not taking ownership and not participating in the thought but more so being an observer being like an investigator when it comes on to your thoughts now what do i mean by participating in thoughts how do we not participate in a thought that we have right um i recognize that it's almost like we have been, I hate saying programmed because I'm not a machine, but it's almost like we've been taught to participate in every single thought that comes in. And the only reason we believe that we need to participate in every single thought is because we believe every thought is our own, right? Now, how dare I have a thought and it's mine and I don't participate, that's disrespectful to myself, right? But the moment you recognize that not every thought is yours and therefore you don't need to take ownership of it and because you don't need to take ownership of it, you don't need to participate. Now, how do we determine what thoughts to actually participate in and what thoughts to allow to pass? Now, when I say to take on the role of an observer um, it's literally just that you know like okay so I like to people watch <laughs> um, I don't know it just makes me feel nice and I like make up little stories for each person um, or sometimes I don't even make up a story I just see them for who they are and watch them walk by um, like sometimes like if I'm in like a high-rise building and I see the cars going by and I can see the persons inside I'll just watch them and just wonder to myself wow they have a whole other life going on 
right? And sometimes that's how it has to be with these thoughts that we have. And you recognize I didn't say with your thoughts, because again, we want to break this idea, this notion that every single thought is our own because it ain't. So sometimes that is the sort of position that we have to take is to just watch the thought, investigate the thought by questioning it. So this is what participating in a thought would look like. Let's say the thought pops up, oh, I am so unattractive, right? And to participate would mean, oh my gosh, yes, I look horrible, my hair needs to get done, my nails need to get done, my skin is so dry, it needs to be moisturized. And you sort of start to like feed into it, right? And you're adding on top of, just adding, 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 stacking up. Oh, 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 stacking up evidence on this thought. And it's evidence that you found to support it so that it would support your decision to participate in it. Because in your mind, it wouldn't make sense to participate in a thought that has no evidence, right? So you find the evidence so you can participate. And again, why do you search for the evidence? Why do you want to participate? Because you believe that that thought is yours. Here's what um, taking the role of an observer would look like with that same thought. Oh, I'm so unattractive. Hmm. Are you though? Or is it that you're just not looking your best today? Then you'd probably ask yourself, okay, on the days that I do feel my best, on the days that this thought never comes up, what are the things that I do? How do I look? How do I like to see myself? And then you start to sort of like sift through and determine, hmm, is this thought a fact or is it just literally a thought? Is it just one of those cars that I should just watch drive by? Is it one of those persons that I should just observe walking by? And when you're able to sift through the thoughts, when you're able to sort of like determine what's factual, and not even just factual, because this is the other thing too. Fact does not equal truth, okay? So I'm not even gonna say factual. Rewind. When you start to sift through and then you can determine what is truth and what is not true. And the moment you're able to determine the truth, all right, then that is where you want to lean into. So continuing with this example, if that thought comes up and I'm like, okay, yeah. So at the end of all of those questions, I start to realize I'm not unattractive. I just don't feel my most attractive today. And then you can decide, do I want to change that feeling to prevent that thought from coming back up? Or am I okay with it? I just want to be comfortable today and I've already sifted through and I know that thought is not truth. So when it comes back up, I can dismiss it, right? There, you have an option. You have a choice of what you want to do and how you want to participate in the thought or if you want to participate in the thought. And I feel like if we are able to grasp this concept in its, in its most truest purest form then we'll be able to sort of have more ownership over our lives you know you have a school of thought that believes that your thoughts um, dictate your life or you are what you think right and they're not wrong <laughs> they're not wrong but i would submit this you aren't necessarily what you think. You are the thoughts that you choose to participate in. And I emphasize the word choose because I want you to remember that you have a choice. You have a choice whether or not you're gonna participate. Do not believe the lies that you have to participate in every thought that comes in. Because remember, we're consuming a lot. So every single thought that comes is not yours. So sure, Man is what he thinks. Man um, is a sum total of his thoughts. But 
remember you are not just what you think you are the thoughts that you choose to participate in so i really do hope that like this revelation that i got that has been changing my life in terms of my thought life um, I hope that it's able to do the same thing for you. And I am praying to the Lord up above that this video, what I'm saying, really gets into your psyche and that the next time you have a thought that doesn't line up with the truth, doesn't line up with who you truly know you are, it does not line up with you know where you want your life to be that you would truly take that position of being an observer right instead of jumping in and participating you'd be an observer be an investigator of the thought and then decide if you want to um, accept it now i would not be a great messenger if i didn't tell you this it's not going to be easy <laughs> It's not gonna be quick. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna master in a day, master in a week. And it's a continuous process. But the more you do it, the better you will be at it, as with anything. And when you get to that place of, it just happens so quickly, like, okay, sift through, sift through, yeah, that's not the truth, bye. Sift through, oh yeah, that's the truth, thank you. <laughs> oh, do I wanna participate? Yes. Do I not, do I want to just observe? Sure. So it's not going to be a process that is easy and just happens overnight. It's going to take a little time for it to get, you know, um, comfortable and for it to become second nature. But if you do take that time to do this, baby girl, baby boy, I believe your life will change. I believe you will live a more fulfilling life. I believe you live a more peaceful life. And that feeling of, oh, I'm not in control of my life or I'm a victim of my circumstance will eventually start to just leave because you recognize that that isn't true. And why is that not true? Because I choose to participate in the thoughts that I want to participate in and I don't take ownership of every thought. All right, lovely people. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, Y'all need to subscribe to the channel, okay? I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Y'all know that is every YouTuber's goal, first goal to get to a thousand subscribers. We're at 411 right now. So I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Share this video, share this video. Put it up on your WhatsApp statuses. Put it up on your stories and just put the link in there. Put it up everywhere. Share this video with a friend. Share it to your group chats. Um, and have a discussion around it and let me know do you think I'm crazy for thinking that we're able to control the thoughts that we participate in or does it sound like it makes sense let me know all right thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy this video if you're watching this when this comes out which is on Sunday I hope you have an amazing week and if you're watching this any other day I still hope you have an amazing week. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.